Greetings, traveler. Is your life ever a hazy blur of hotel rooms and convention hall floors? Do you want to keep up a semblance of an exercise routine while you're on the road with a suitcase, as I am? Well, you've got a nice little seven-minute circuit routine that you can repeat in the privacy of your own hotel room because, let's face it, some people aren't comfortable going down to the hotel gym or you just don't have the time. But you have the time because you've got seven minutes before you head out of your hotel and you can pump this workout out quickly. All right, we've got an interval timer in the description below. It's already programmed for you to follow along with. Each interval is 30 seconds. You're gonna do as many reps as you can of each exercise until you run out of time. Then you can rest at the very end of the circuit and repeat the whole thing if you wish. So let's get down to business and don't, for the love of God, forget to put deodorant on before you head down to the expo floor. First up is downward and upward dog, also known as the pump stretch. This is a good way to warm up at the beginning of the workout and it stretches and takes a little bit of strength at the same time. First thing, press back, hips up towards the ceiling, chest down towards the floor, keeping your arms straight. And then transition forward, pressing your shoulders down away from the ears and engaging your butt to keep your back protected. Pressing back again, hips up in the air, chest down. Relax your heels down towards the floor and transition back forward again. Keep doing this for time. Do as many reps as you feel comfortable. You can hold positions longer or you can rush through them a little more quickly. Just change it up and warm it up. Next up is the one arm row and the bent over row. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of different variations using a backpack, using a suitcase, and keep in mind also that a lot of hotel chairs can be used in a similar fashion, depending on what you've got. So first, I'm gonna show the one arm row with the backpack, just holding on the handle at the top. You're gonna to draw the elbow in alongside the body and draw the shoulder back as well. I'm gonna show the same thing other side with the suitcase. Again, one arm row. There are a lot of different ways to cook this. Namely, switching it up to the bent over row. Holding at the top of the backpack straps, drawing towards your solar plexus, to so the top of your belly. And draw the elbows in alongside the body, pull the shoulders back. Butt should be back, abs engaged. Same thing can be achieved with the suitcase as well. So those are the rows, enjoy those. Next up is push-ups. There are so many ways to do push-ups and you can get very creative in the hotel room doing all types of different varieties. The basic ones that you can do, hello coach, you can do standard push-ups. You can do push-ups with your hands against the wall for an e e easier push-up. You can do knee push-ups. You can do push-ups with your hands on a bed or on a chair. You can do it with your feet on the bed or on the chair. I'm just gonna show you standard ones. Kick up, lower down, under control, and press up. And like I said, you can do this in so many different ways. You can also, because you're under time, you can slow down the reps, pause, and come up. Or you can just do as many as you can in the 30 seconds. Next is the plank. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's plank from the elbows. Kick up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. Draw your elbows down and your shoulders down as well. Now during this time, you can think about things such as squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs. What's up, coach? You can, <laughs> you can squeeze your quads. No, keep squeezing. You don't get to not squeeze. Always squeeze. Everything should be squeezing. Your neck should be relaxed. Keep breathing. And then rest. Planks are good for you. Next is jumping jacks. There's really not a lot to say about jumping jacks. You've done them before. Who the hell am I? I'm just a guy 
telling you to do them. There's no real technique. Do what you've already done. You've done this before. Do some jumping jacks. Keep going. Next up is lunges. We're gonna be doing a step back lunge. It's gonna be 30 seconds for each leg. So you'll pick one leg to start on, do the whole 30 seconds, and then switch to the other one and do the next interval on the other leg. So it'll look something like this, left leg forward, and you're gonna repeat for 30 seconds. And then once you've completed those 30, switch to the other side. And you've got 30 seconds to do on the other leg. If you really want, you could even be holding the backpack as a little counterweight, adding a little more difficulty. But other than that, very straightforward, carry on. Now for 30 seconds of high knees. Keeping your hands up in front of you to offer a little target for your knee to hit. You can do them slow and controlled like so, or you can speed it up like a jog. Also, if you're getting a little tired, switch to butt kickers. That'll still get your heart rate up and give you a change of movement. Now we've got dips. We're gonna do them either from a chair or from a bed. You're gonna put your feet out in front of you and then assist yourself down into the dips with your arms. I'll show the chair style first. Hands up on the armrests, walk out the legs, and then lower down. You wanna kinda of get, get it so your butt sinks down a little lower, and only go down so far as your upper arms become parallel to the ground. You don't need to go super deep. I'll show the bed version. Hands on the squashy bed. And same deal, lowering yourself down, making sure you get down to about arms parallel to the floor. And then just lock yourself back up to finish. Very good. Next is squats. You can do a few different variations. You can do them with a band. You can do that from above the knee, below the knee. You can also do it holding on to something such as your backpack pressing it out for counterbalance. I'm going to just show standard squats, body weight style. Keeping the chest up, we're going to reach the hands out for counterbalance, sink down, only so far as you can keep your back straight, and then squat back up. There you go. Enjoy. Next is lateral walks. And this one is a great one to do with the band, so I highly recommend that. You also don't have to have a lot of space, but if you do, try and use the full length of your hotel room down and back. Otherwise, just a few steps in each direction is more than adequate. So you're gonna sink back into an athletic position. Your eyes are gonna stay on the same level the whole time. You're gonna step sideways and fully plant the feet, keeping the arms out in that athletic ready stance. Do a handful in each direction for the time. As heroes of fitness, we would be remiss if we did not provide you with some exercises to work your gluteus maximus. The first one is gonna be the hip thrust. I'm also gonna show you the glute bridge. And these are both things that are gonna be uh, very, very good for you. So let's slide down. Get the shoulder blades to be the last thing braced up either on your chair or on a bench in the room and tuck the chin, tuck the chest forward and then lower down, keeping this all together and press up. When you press up, squeeze the glutes very hard, tuck down, like so. Next, the glute bridge, you're gonna lie on your back. Again, you can add a resistance band here or here and that will make it much more difficult Press the hips up, squeeze at the top, and lower down. Now here you're trying to make a straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees, and that will let you know you're in the right spot. Lower back down. Those will get you a fit pair of glutes. Now for a little ab work, we're going to do bicycles. Very simple, just a form of crunch where you alternate to either side. Laying back, draw elbow towards the knee and you can either pause and hold or you can speed it up and go for the record time of 30 seconds of this pauses don't forget pauses good to go almost done next it's time to calm it down to cool it down 
to stretch it out to end the workout. Let's take a step forward with the left leg and do a hip flexor stretch. What we're gonna do is from this kneeling lunge position, we're gonna tuck the tailbone and squeeze the glutes. That's gonna engage the hip flexor stretch. Then we're gonna slowly inch forward with the front foot and shift the weight forward. Keep the chest open and keep reaching with the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Inhale back, exhale forward into the stretch, keeping the glute engaged. And again, chest open, Gonna inhale back, exhale forward. Again, the whole focus is to stretch out that hip flexor and the more tension in the glute, that'll help you to maintain that stretch. Other side, same thing, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glute, walk the front foot forward, press the hips forward, keep the chest open and the head up. That's it for the workout, you guys. Let us know what you think of it, and we'll see you among the hordes of calm going people hanging out out there somewhere. So take care. Thank you so much, you guys.